Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, and I'm a professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. It feels so good to have you here. If we're meeting for the first time, welcome. And if you are an old friend to me and the YouTube channel, then welcome back. So, as you can see, we're in a different environment. Again, you guys know I moved and I am moving, meaning that since I moved, I'm just vibing with my space. I'm vibing with the energy of, you know, where I feel the most comfortable and grounded while filming and working with you guys and sharing my visions. And today, I just felt so cold to come outside because everything is blooming right now, man. Everything is blooming right now. And the clouds, are so full. I keep getting notifications that there's a storm that's building out there somewhere, but for right now, it's just so lush and so spiritually lifting, and I wanted to share that with you guys. While I'm saying that though, as you can tell and as you know, I can't control my external environment. Whether I was, whether if I was inside or if I was outside, I can't control it and neither can you. So there's going to be some sounds, there's going to be some movement, there's going to be some adjustment as I'm saying that. My plant literally is like waving at me. <laughs> it's so cute. I wish you guys could have seen it. But um, yeah, and it sounds like there's someone doing some work around here, which I appreciate because they too were transforming and changing in the midst of change in their lives. And then to me, that's so symbolic. But that leads me into exactly what it is that I want to talk to you guys about. I'm referring to my complete astro and intuitive planner for 2021 that I wrote at the very beginning of this year. It's an ebook format and in September I'm going to write for 2022. So if you have that ebook, feel free to go ahead and follow along. I will be looking down on it just as a guide because there's a, you know, the planet's movements and stuff and my own visions that I received at the beginning of this year. But this morning while I was sitting in my meditation, it's so interesting because I was revisited by the vision, the idea, the image of a bird. However, this time it felt very Phoenix-like. It felt very um, transformative. And if you guys refer to the ebook for July 12th, the week of July 12th into the 18th, I actually had a vision at the very beginning of the year of a bird changing colors, like its feathers just drastically and rapidly changing right in front of my face. And to me, this just confirms again that we are in the midst of incredible and profound change, things that we have sensed and we've discerned and we intuitively picked up on. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but on Instagram, like the visions that I've been getting and the messages that I've been downloading are just so powerful lately that they've actually moved me to, to, to tears in the best way possible. And I, I feel like this is because we're all on the same level, we're all on the same frequency, like we're all in the same vibe right now, we're all in the same space of, I don't wanna say out with the old and in with the new, but we we're, we're really have been ending and releasing and cleansing, and I'm getting the, you know, the vision of like water, just purifying water. We're purifying our source, you know? And I feel like, and what I can see, especially with Pluto, Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, retrogr retrograde, is there's this purging. There's a purging of the shadow aspects within ourselves that have confined us and controlled us. There's a purging and a release from generational curses. There's a purging in our structure, in our government, in our foundation. There's a purging in how we visualize and how we receive intuitive messages and, and how we allow ourselves to do that. And as we are purging that and releasing that, I just get this massive vision, this beautiful vision of cleansing water that comes in and is so restorative. And that's where my emotions start to get, start to step forward. That's where my emotions start to come forward because the gratitude, the immense gratitude that I feel and that spirit wants us to feel for the, for the sake of these cleansing waters, these cleansing rains that are coming into our lives, we want to open ourselves up to receive that. We don't want to fight this. And one thing that I can tell and one thing that I can sense is there is a bit of resistance, right? And I said this years ago, but you don't want to be stubborn in the cycle that we are in right now. You don't want to be stubborn. Back in the day, I said, you don't want to be stubborn with where we're going, but we're in it now. You don't want to be stubborn. Why? Because 
you will run yourself down. You will hurt yourself, accidentally hurt yourself, drain yourself. You'll get like hit. It feels like life will just hit you. Like um, circumstances will hit you. You want to lift your feet up and you want to st stand more in a space of faith, especially with these planets. With Neptune moving to the sign of Pisces right now, our our foundation and as Pluto is moving through Capricorn and as Saturn is moving through Aquarius and Jupiter is retrograde moving out of Pisces back into the sign of Aquarius, our foundation, our core foundation of what we think and deem is safety, security, solid, stable is actively crumbling beneath us. Why? Because it was a fallacy. It was never real to begin with. And spirit, the divine and our higher selves don't want us to implant ourselves in a belief system that is false that is unstable, that is not gonna support you. Why? Because chances are, if you're watching this video right now, you have a higher purpose, you have a higher destiny, you have higher um, visions and, and, and um, prophecies that were spoken over your life or things that you have seen, things that you have sensed that need to come to fruition. And Spirit wants that for you, not only just for your betterment, but for the betterment of all of us. We all need that right now, okay? So if you're manifesting, we're all being blessed by that. We're all being given a gift by your happiness, by your joy, by your pleasure, by your needs and your wants being met. Absolutely, right? So that's where we're at right now, you guys. Um, looking at the, the planets, you know, this this week, I mean, you know, Mercury trying, uh, Mercury trying Jupiter right now, even Jupiter being retrograde, wants to give us incredible downloads, incredible visions. Look, the magician card just came through. It's what we speak, it's what we hear, it's what we believe, it's what we are manifesting. All of it comes from the mind. The mind is so powerful. In fact, magician card rules, um, is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is the messenger of the planets, but it's also the messenger of the gods. He is able to translate and speak, speak out what, um, what Jupiter has downloaded, what Jupiter intuitively, naturally, instinct, instinctually understands. So what do you do with this, my loves? What do you do with this? Well, you you sit with yourself. I mean, I, I feel like a broken record, but you sit with yourself in your sacred space. You make your ritual, your routine, um, you know, your sacred time, you make that a priority. Why? Because with that, I mean, even 20 minutes a day, that's gonna change your life and the direction of your life for the better always. It's always gonna keep you in alignment. Even with Neptune retrograde right now and the sign of Pisces, it actually, as your world gets muddled, your intuition gets heightened. If you are making, if you're taking care of the physical, emotional, um, spiritual, mental bodies, we wanna make sure that those bodies are being purified, again, out with the old and in with the, the pure waters, in with the cleansing waters, in with the cleansing rain. That means that, and I saw this and I put it, put it on my Instagram, um, last week, that means a detox, that means a dietary change, that means high, more high vibrational foods and more high vibrational living and more high, high, high vibrational experiences. I myself have been manifesting that, you guys, I don't know if you know, but I have been playing like a wild woman, just out playing. How could I not? You know, my environment is so beautiful and I, I can't just sit in a home or in a house and just be strapped to my desk when I live in such lush, beautiful environment and it has absolutely impacted my magic. It has Im absolutely impacted my creativity. It's actually impacted my intuitive messages and you know, spirit wants me to be happy and that's where I've been at. So I love that. Venus conjunct Mars is happening July 13th at 9.32 a.m. And this is exactly what it is that I'm talking about, my loves. Venus is moving through the sign of Leo right now um, Mars is in the sign of Leo. Yeah, Mars is in the sign of Leo. And when the two of them come together, it's feminine energy and masculine energy that sits in a space of self-worth, play, and creativity in abundance, my loves. It feels very yellow. It feels very golden. It feels very receptive. It feels very equal, equaled out. It feels very, um, I just heard the word um, negativity is neutralized, meaning bad vibes are neutralized when you play, when you allow yourself to sit and absorb the abundance of this earth of these planets and when Venus and Mars come together it's a very highly receptive sensual attractive time for all of us but you want to not look at this the world card you don't want to hold yourself back 
or suppress your light and suppress your energy because you don't want to offend other people or you, you're afraid of what people are gonna say and what they're gonna do. In fact, it's kind of bringing, bringing me back full circle to the original vision that it was that I had with this bird. It literally caught my attention because of how quickly and drastically and vibrant its feathers were changing. It was like emerald, it was ruby, it was sapphire, it was gold, it was glittering in front of my face in a way that was not subtle. And that's what I'm feeling and that's what I'm sensing for all of us this week specifically, but at this moment in time. Um, Chiron retrograde, I've been telling you guys to keep your eyes on Chiron. Um, Chiron in the sign of Aries, I'm sorry, yeah, in the sign of Aries, even when it's retrograde, it's like, listen, we wanna revisit how you define yourself, how you, um, how you understand yourself to be and how you move and how you present yourself to the world. Do you believe that you are worthy? Do you believe that you are capable? Do you feel strong? Um, what I just received just now, especially when it comes to changes and when I heard the word strength and, and strong, it's not about you being firm and, and stubborn and being like, I'm unmoving, this is who I am and you know, just so rigid and so cold and so disconnected. Your strength is going to come through to your softness, especially with Venus and Mars conjoining in the sign of, of Leo. Your strength and your sun and your light is going to come from your softness. That's where the real change is going to come from because you are understanding deeply and intuitively that your strength is not by forcing your will, by trying to chase or prove your worth to others. It's going to come from knowing who you are, whether you, however you identify, whether you're masculine, more predominantly more masculine or predominantly more feminine energy, it's going to come from you balancing, even as I'm seeing this, the world card here, it's going to come from you balancing those aspects within yourself, acknowledging them, accepting them, loving them, embracing them, and shining that out. That's going to be the most miraculous change and trans transition that's happening here. It's not going to impact just one area of your life. It's going to impact all areas of your life. It's going to impact your work. It's going to imp impact how you eat, like what you eat, your diet. It's going to impact your ability to play. It's going to impact your ability to manifest. It's going to impact your relationships, your friendships, your partnerships. It's gonna impact the environment around you. It impacts everything, your home. Everything is touched by your ability to sit and embrace this Chiron retrograde, the um, Venus conjunct Mars um, in the sign of Leo, um, Jupiter retrograde, uh, Saturn retrograde, Pluto retrograde, Neptune retrograde. What I don't want you guys to do is look at your external world, your external circumstances and say, oh, this is real, this is it. I, um, what I see right now is the truth. The truth is, the, what, the actual truth is, the only thing that is real is love a higher love, a higher energy, and that's it, honestly. Outside of that, everything else is just a perspective, and your perspective is changing so so drastically, and how you see things, and how you see others, and how others see you, is it's just a reflection of how they perceive the world and their understanding of it. So what you wanna do, my loves, is if you know that and you understand that, you wanna take additional time into strengthening the source, strengthening the heart, strengthening the intuitive mind, and, and connecting to the root, grounding yourself, and let that energy move throughout your entire being. As I am saying that, I just saw that the Three of Pentacles was the only card that was left behind in my bag somehow. I don't know how that happened. But the World card is also here. And there is something that is being created. There is something that is being manifested. There is something that is coming into alignment and collaborating with you, harmonizing with your energy right now. And what I want you guys to do is I want you to sense it first. I want you to feel it first. I want you to manifest it. I want you to be about it. I want you to receive it. That is what is real. Energy is real. Love is real. And with that from your core, the center of your core, you can then change the outcome of your events around you just like that. It's more than manifestation, my loves. It's a high, it's a high vibrational feeling. It's an, an essence, it's an energy. With that, you can, you can do anything. And with that, not only can you do anything, but you'll know what to do with it. You'll know what to, what to say. You'll know where to go. You'll know what is for you. You'll know what you need to reject. Your discernment, your intuition is going to be solid in everything. 
And what I hear is that that is what is going to be stabilized. Your faith in, in your higher self, your faith in a higher power is going to be stabilized. Then you're going to have a deeper sense and awareness of how perfect everything is. You're going to have a higher sense of how perfect everything is. Nothing is a mistake. Everything is in divine order. The chaos, the distant rumbling of thunder, all of it makes sense because you understand that it all aligns. It all aligns. And with that, you're going to get such a beautiful space and such a beautiful reminder and such a beautiful surge of joy, of gratitude, of compassion, of kindness, of sweetness, of nurturing, of nur nourishing in your spirit. All bodies are fed. Why? Because out with the old, in with the new, cleansing waters. Cleansing waters comes in and restores your spirit, restores your energy. These planets are just so perfectly aligned, you guys. There is no such thing as coincidences and everything moves, my loves. With the world card here, it's a reminder that everything comes in a cycle and nothing before its time and literally everything is collabing, everything is connecting in order to harmonize you with every with, with, with what you are what you're trying to vibe with. And when spirit sees that you are you are choosing things that are diminishing, that are devoid or void of purpose, of of plenty of plentifulness of abundance of lushness of life of health and vitality or love it will work actively work to collaborate to move you to harmonize you into certain things and sometimes your spirit your energy i'm really feeling this you guys sometimes your your spirit your energy says wait universe wait divine i have to learn this lesson right now i'm so attracted to it i'm so attracted to this dysfunction i'm so attracted to this toxicity because you have to live you have to learn you have to do it so that you can do better once you complete that cycle my loves the the world card here three of three pentacles once you co complete that cycle once you've ended that collaboration or when the universe ends it for you you then take steps forward and you have to release it let it go out with the old in with the new here comes the sweet water in comes the refreshing waters in comes the restorative energies don't hold on to anything if you sat with yourself right now you would see you would know you would understand and it would make it easier for, for you to let go the phoenix the bird the, the the visions that it is that i was having with this bird changing its its feathers it's not diminishing its shine. In fact, everything that has happened up until this point has brought you to this moment right here where you belong. And that's the, that change is so drastic. It's so radical. It's so life-changing. It's beautiful. And instead of you holding back your light, your love, you become softer. You become more abundant. You become more life-giving, more life-sustaining. And everything balances so that you are also being restored as you give, as you give, as you pour. You are being poured into. That's where you're at right now. I love you guys. Big time. Buku love. Buku gratitude. Please uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And of course, I'll see you in my next one.